Hello guys, this video we are going to show you a new feature called dynamic quick reply. I will show you two ways to provide a dynamic selection. One way is to use the for each feature in the send message step. Another way is using the new feature dynamic quick reply. It's in both the send message step and the question step. Okay, now before the comparison, I'll show you what is dynamic selection. Now let's say I am having a restaurant bot and when you're coming in and they wanted to book a reservation, I am going to list all the time slot for them to select. Now if I'm doing it in a non-dynamic way, I need to manually like uh, put all the answers here like 1 to 2 p.m. 2 to 3 p.m. and 3 to 4 and you will need to list every time slot here manually one by one and in the case that uh let's say 2 to 3 p.m has been fully booked so you will need to go into this question step and remove it manually this is going to be very time consuming and inconvenient so alternatively you can save all the time slot into a json variable and use dynamic quick reply to list all the options let me show you the uh, field that store all the time slot so this board field called time slot has have all the availabilities so there are three time slots for lunch and four time slots for dinner so once uh, let's say 7 to 8 8 p.m fully booked then i the only thing i need to do is go into the board field and remove it and then save it and that's it or you can you can let the board to edit the json board field automatically from updated from a, uh, a database or from ABI course or from um, Google Sheet, whatever. So it's going to be more intelligent and time saving. Now let's save the time slot and let me show you how I list all the time slot by uh, this two way. Okay, the first one is send via for each. Now in the send message step, you say for each type and choose the field. The field is called time slot. And so there are four elements in a card. In order to show a card, you will need at least two elements. So one of them must be the title. Now let me item. So this is the first time slot. I'm going to show the time slot in the title section and use a button because we need to let the user do the selection. Okay, and after, when the user press the select button, we will need to use a select for the next step and then choose an action step to save the answer. Okay, in the action step, let's use a set variable value option and then selected slot. Put the select.item, what we get from the previous step, save it to this answer variable because the select item is temporary you can lose it so you will need to save it somewhere else safe okay after that then we can use a send message step to print the answer you select selected slots okay that's how you list all the time slot by using a for each step now if you are doing it in a dynamic quick reply way you can use either a send mess message step or a question step. Now let's print the question. Please select a time and save it to select this slot and click on the dynamic answer here and then for each item in time slot and the title for each option is going to be item itself and the answer value is the item itself as well okay so there is a limitation you can list up to 10 options and then save it so when you just do the selection go print the result okay let's publish now let's test it preview send to me okay list all the time slot for each so now i have several cards and each one of them has the time slot as the title and there is a select button when i click on this one you select 8 pm to 9 pm all right so if that's in 
listed in this way. You can see that seven of them listed together here. So you don't need to swipe left and right. And if I choose 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., you select 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, so as we mentioned that uh, when it comes to safe answer for it, you will need to add an extra action to uh, save the for each answer into the answer variable. But in dynamic quick reply, you, uh, the answer is auto saved. So you don't need to do anything else. And uh, when it comes to select by, user can select an answer by buttons only if you're using for each. So let me show you, uh, let me type again. So uh, the only thing I can do is press one of this button to do the selection. I cannot type in, so let's say 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. The boss can't recognize it because and you can only do that via button press only. Okay, but if you're using dynamic quick reply, you can press button or uh, manually type it in to select the option. Okay, quick reply. So 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. okay, I guess it's because I am using a choice question. Let me change it to text question. Select it. Slot. Quick. Time slot item. And save it. Okay, let's test it. the test. Please select the time. Okay, let's try 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So it tells me I select 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So I can either manually type the answer to select or I can press the quick reply to select. Okay, so that's the differences. And now when it comes to pagination, for each support, up to 50 options and it has auto pagination feature. So let me show you. Okay, so uh, we have seven options in total. Now let me copy and paste. Let's get more options. So now I'm having 21 options. Let's save it and we don't need to do anything let's let's preview the subflow from the very beginning okay for each so you can see that i have 10 options here and i got a button said next 10 items i get the next 10 items and remember we have 21 so i have another next button here so this is the final one 22 21 in total but if you are using dynamic quick reply it only shows you 10 at most and if you need to show more you need to um, uh, have more design like uh, have more action step and in question step to show um, for the pagination features okay and the final one is display so a for each feature can show more information about the selection now let me show you this one. When I preview this, and uh, I I'm displaying a list of menu item, so I can show an image about the selection. I can show a long title. Let me show you. So the title has eighty characters at most, and the subtitle has eighty character at most as well. So I have. 80 characters to show a title and 80 characters to show a subtitle and I have three buttons to uh, provide more choice. Okay, so it's like this. But if I'm using dynamic quick reply, it only has a short test with, with 20 characters at most. So you can see that this one is more than 20. So it should be chicken wings and then 
13.00 dollars but it's too long so it becomes like this all right so today we've learned how to use for each and dynamic quick reply to list a dynamic selection and these are their advantages and disadvantages you can choose one of them according to your needs and if you are showing a lot of information about a selection you can choose uh, for each and if you need auto pagination your option is more than 10 then for each would be a better choice and if you are just listing some short quick answer it would be easier to set up by using dynamic quick reply and and there is also one difference is like we just uh, before that I was using the choice question and uh, um, when user didn't select one of the quick reply that I provide I can use the no match feature in the question step to give a prompt and ask them for uh, reselection but if I was using the send message step then user can force into uh, default reply like this one so the bot don't understand what the user is talking about and it goes to default reply Okay, so that's all about it. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. Bye.